I've been instructed to refuse any further charges on your room account and to direct you in writing to please vacate the premises by the end of the month. What about Sing Sang? I wore a hundred. Royal had lived in the Lindbergh Palace Hotel for 22 years. Can you pay her in cash? He was a prominent litigator until the mid-80s when he was disbarred and briefly imprisoned. No one in his family had spoken to him in three years. Read her back to me so far, Pietro. Dear Eli, I'm in the middle of the ocean. I haven't left my room in four days. I've never been more lonely in my life, and I think I'm in love with Marco. New paragraph. Richie had retired from professional tennis at 26. His last match had been widely discussed in the media. Your friend Richie, end of letter. For the past year, he had been traveling alone on an ocean liner called the Côte d'Ivoire, and had seen both poles, five oceans, the Amazon, and the Nile. The crickets and the rust beetles scuttled among the nettles of the sage thicket. Vamanos, amigos. He whispered and threw the busted leather flint craw over the loose weave of the saddlecock, and they rode on in the friscalating dusk light. Eli was an assistant professor of English literature at Brooks College. The recent publication of his second novel had earned him a sudden, unexpected literary celebrity. Well, everyone knows Custer died at Little Bighorn. What this book presupposes is, maybe he didn't? Let me ask you something. Why would a review make the point of saying someone's not a genius? Do you think I'm especially not a genius? I don't you? You didn't even have to think about it, did you? Well, I just don't use that word lightly. I have to go, Eli. Margo? Uh-huh. May I come in, please? How are you, my darling? Margo was married to the writer and neurologist Raleigh Sinclair. I'm fine, thank you. You need to eat something. May I make you dinner? No, thank you. She was known for her extreme secrecy. For example, none of the Tenenbaums knew she was a smoker, which she had been since the age of 12. Nor were they aware of her first marriage and divorce to a recording artist in Jamaica. She kept a private studio in Mockingbird Heights under the name Helen Scott. She had not completed a play in seven years.